Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to the program Fuckers. Hello, fuckers, and today I'm continuing the Archie Luxury Reflection Series. And I, I want to take you back to a time uh, when I uh, had just divorced. This is 2005. What's that? 16 years ago, fuckers. Starting again, <coughs> starting again, starting again at 33, 32, 32, 32, starting again at 32. And I got to tell you, it was a horror story, okay? I basically... I come back. I got divorced. I, I spoke about the the end of the first marriage in in in, in the previous video. But uh, I was living in my old man's investment house, rent free. He he very kindly let me stay there. Always strings attached. He'd sneak around and check how I was going, especially after a twelve hour fucking taxi shift that really irritated you. But uh, anyhow, let's not let's not dwell on that. He was kind to let me stay there. And my financial situations, financial situation started to stabilize, okay? I was working a government contract job. Fuck me dead. This is just amazing, you know? I was driving taxis, trying to make taxis. I'd be doing 12-hour shifts. I'd average about $10 an hour. On a weeknight, you'd start at 4, you'd go until about 3 a.m. and you'd, you'd, you'd be lucky to pull 120 for yourself. Fuck was it terrible. Fucking terrible. And then I got a government job. I was earning $25 an hour contracting IT for the ambulance, emergency services. I'd turn up at work 8 o'clock I'd have a coffee, and by about 9.37, I would have finished my day's activities. Okay, by 9.37, it had all been done. <clears throat> and i got to tell you this, time moves slow when you're doing fuck all. <clears throat> I worked with a great bunch of guys, I must say. So they, they were public servants, you know. They 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 um. They they were actually some really cool guys. I I, I do I do remember those people fondly. And so what happened to me? Starting again, I, I was doing taxi driving, and I had a few debts. I think I had about fifteen thousand in debt. And I had about, you know, I, I still, my maintenance and that, I was basically paying the repayments on the, my old house, which is bummer. I mean, I was paying the upkeep of the house without fucking being there enjoying the benefits. Absolute fucking crap. I should have fucking moved, I should have said to the ex-wife, right, I'm moving back into a room. I'll, I, you live your life, I live my life, and that's it. Because my name is on the fucking title at that stage. And I should have probably forced that and lived my own life. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Which was uh, partially silly, but I suppose that is how it, it goes there. So, I got to tell you, my, my own self then, so, what happened, what happened with myself then? Well, fuckers, well, fuckers indeed. I am um, starting from zero, I tell you what, I was less than zero, I had negative, negative money, and, um... It wasn't so much the fact that I had zero, it's the fact that I had ongoing liabilities. I had maintenance, maintenance payments for another 10 fucking years, another 10 fucking years to go. 
I had, I think it was 15,000 in credit card debt. I had no savings, no shares, no nothing like that. No car, no car. And I, I was starting again, starting from fresh. And it's fucking hard. I gotta tell you what, it's fucking hard. It's not so much the fact that you're at zero, it's the fact that you've got ongoing liabilities. I had some little bit of credit card debt, and I had the maintenance. I had to pay maintenance every fucking month. That was no rest, no rest, no luxury goods. I mean, I'm the type of person who would love just a nice watch to take me through the bad period, but no, none of that at all. So I basically, I basically, um, had fucking nothing, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. This was at 32, 32, 2005, I had absolutely nothing. And uh, I actually, I, I began dating my third wife. Began dating the third wife, well, when I say third wife, I've technically, I was signing documents, I've been married twice. So it's really my second. The second marriage to the Thai lady, well, I, that, I only attended a Buddhist ceremony where they put some water shit all over your head and did a bit of chanting. So, I mean, do you consider that a marriage? Yes, I gave her an engagement ring, but I didn't sign any documents. I was technically still married to the first wife. I hadn't lodged the papers, but um, I, I think spiritually I was separated from the first wife and divorced long ago. So I do consider that a second marriage. So uh, officially my second, I, I started on my second, looking for my second wife, really the third wife emotionally. And I had absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. And um, she had nothing as well. Great team, Archie! Great team. And I gotta tell you, it's it's a it's a very heavy burden to bear. It's a very very heavy burden to bear. And I suppose, you know, why why did I enter into that marriage? I wanted somebody who could support me emotionally and and was there for me and wanted to you know you just everything was shit in my life you want a nice romance to to help you which um you know it's one of these things starting again with zero but but i mean i i um i had very limited money very limited money The only way I went forward was a bit of trading. This is before the my YouTube success. And uh, that's the reason I used credit card to buy a lot of luxury goods. I bought and sold. And I'd made mistakes too. Bought wrong thing. The dollar went the wrong fucking way. Or It was hard fucking graft. Hard fucking work, that's for sure. Very fucking hard. And, uh... I gotta tell you, it's... It's, uh... I don't think I... Financially, I probably didn't do the sensible things. I should have just fucking stayed single, paid the debts off, and then got money and invested or, or did things, but... I jumped into another relationship. I needed the the sustainment that a fresh new marriage would give you. And I started to to build a little mini luxury collection again. And uh 
that's what it was. It it was very hard, starting from nothing at 32. And I and I'd always worked all my life. I'd always worked all my life. I'd worked and I had fucking nothing because I'd supported family and kids and wives who didn't have jobs. They they didn't have the skills to work, so they were dependent on me. Fuck, Archie. Fuck is all I can say. <coughs> Starting with nothing at 32. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. It was um, very, very hard. And I borrowed money to buy things. I, I didn't have any money myself. I'd started a new family. I was supporting two families. I was supporting my... I was building a luxury goods collection. I had to do it on credit! And, uh... I think sometimes I'm, I am my own worst enemy. You know that? I am my own worst enemy. And, um... Yeah, it's very, very tough. I, I fucking... I, 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 I tried my best, tried my best, fuckers, but starting from scratch at 32, I put fucking limits in place on myself. I went and started a new family. I mean, what the hell was I thinking financially? What was I thinking? And, um... Yes, fuckers, it was very, very hard graph. So I, I, I started, a, I, you know, I'd buy and sell a little bit, and fuck, was it hard. I tried diamonds, I tried watches, I tried, I tried many fucking things. I, I, I took a second and third job, that's right. Yes, I did limo driving. I was working for government and driving limos on weekends. Fucking hell. Talk about burnout. Starting with nothing. Jesus Christ, it was hard. Fucking hard, I tell you this now. Hard yakka and, uh, you know... Every dollar I earned, limo driving or taxi driving in my job, 30%, because I was already earning 50 in my basic job, 30% of the new money went in tax. 28% went in extra maintenance. There wasn't much left for poor old Archie, was there? Fucking tough fucking world to be. You wonder why... I'm middle class, middle aged, and bitter. Overweight and bitter white guy. And when you apply for the government jobs, they want minorities. We encourage indigenous, lesbian females to apply for this job. What does that mean? A white, middle aged, overweight white guy isn't, 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 isn't prefer. <laughs> It's just hard. It's so damn hard. Starting with nothing. Starting with nothing. It was very hard. Very, 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 very hard. Very hard. And the only reason I've got something today, well, I'm not that well off, but I've got a little bit of luxury goods, is because of the YouTube Google ad revenue. Otherwise, I would still have the credit card debt with the... That's the reality. That's the only reason I've moved forward in my life is because of YouTube. YouTube has saved my life. <coughs> I'm 43 now. It's 2016. I've got... Credit card I owe about four. I've got a couple of nice watches. The gold sub. A little bit in savings. 
ten thousand in savings, okay. It's fucking hard, fuckers. It is very hard. It's very hard. And I have supported people my entire life. Got married at 19... 20. 20 I got married. Supported people who didn't have a job. I supported children. Yes, that's, 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 that's my story. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of that.